You two are cool. You're on patrol with us, with the United Nations forces here, going out into quite a dangerous area. Uh, there's a bowler nearby, uh, and also there are, is a very strong um, militant group here that over the last few days has killed probably dozens of civilians. We're in Beni, in the eastern Congo, the area worst affected by war over more than two decades. The combination of fighting and Ebola has turned it into one of the worst ever outbreaks. It's also weird because the kids around here normally would go, hi there, and shake hands. Can't touch anybody. We've been given very strict instructions. Don't touch anybody because of the risk of Ebola in this area. From here, you cannot find anybody, even the people who are there. Just there, when it is full, they start going, all of them. It's the UN's biggest peacekeeping mission, but they're not popular because despite their guns, a militant group still kills civilians. They are wondering how can the enemy cross all of this bush and reach the town and start killing people just there at the town. They were out just a couple of hours. The UN's trying to prevent attacks and take on the militants, but they also need to protect themselves. It's a tough balance. How can you go to a country for 20 years to stabilize and you don't stabilize and you think that you have succeeded in doing something? Would you like them to leave? Uh, we want them to live in 2020. As far as security is concerned, we are able to manage. I believe that the uh, UN is making the difference here because uh, the state is not present in many areas of this country. So if we left, the situation could worsen very quickly. The situation is already worsening. The instability is forcing people to flee and allowing Ebola to spread out of control. When local conflicts escalate, millions of people can be affected. This is Kalemi, where two years ago, a row over sharing a bowl of forest caterpillars sparked violent clashes between pygmies and other ethnic groups. It displaced three quarters of a million people. Terrible things were done by both sides. Five million people are currently living away from their homes because of violence. Nearly 14 million people need some form of aid in the DRC just to get by. But with so many young people wanting change, there's hope conflict can be stopped that the country's vast resources can be used to improve people's lives. For the next part of your adventure, you can go to the mines to see the country's vast mineral wealth or head straight to the forest to meet endangered gorillas. <laughs>